what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Corvus OS which is the VS 2.1 and this is actually based on Android 12 L and the build name is Revolt 13th April 2022 build if you are wondering about the build date there is separate versions for like including G apps and without G apps I guess and of course I went with the G apps included variant here now if you have no idea how to flash this particular ROM on your device you can check out the description for the flashing guide or you can check out the cards. So let me just show you the about section quickly. In the about section this is how it looks like and of course we have the android version as android 12 showing up but this is actually android 12 L and once you do this you get a haptic feedback continuously and this is the doodle of android 12 and we have the security patch as latest of april 5th 2022 so we are getting latest security patch over here and the stock kernel is this 4.14 p ssg performance kernel the aclinux status shows as enforcing and here is the build number now jumping into the settings we have the gestures right here and there we get the quickly open camera then we have the system navigation gestures and if you go into the settings we have the swipe to invoke assistant so you can swipe up from these corners and you can get the google assistant without any issues if you scroll down we have the pill length customization but there is no thickness customization i guess over here now we have the haptic feedback option and it does give you a haptic feedback while navigating through the ui of course and we have the ime button space this is for hiding the space below of the like whenever there is keyboard and we have this hide nav bar option completely so if you don't want this like pill bar showing up you can just enable this option there are also two button and three button navigations we have the one-handed mode right here and that you can set to show notification or something so as you can see it is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever and we also have the swipe trick screenshot and this swipe trick screenshot also has the capture mode option if you are somewhere where there is a lot of space to scroll like this as you can see if i take a screenshot and there is this capture mode option and if you take a screenshot this is how it looks like and it is very handy and you can just make a doodle out of it just like this you can mark some stuff and you can save it share it or delete it from right here also we have the press and hold power button for the assistant and stuff and then we have the enable advanced restart over here now talking about the power menu here is how it looks like and it does have these kind of animations and if i tap restart as you can see there is the directly rebooting option to recovery or fast boot or the system ui so yeah advanced reboot is working perfectly fine here no issues now going back into the system we have the language and input and there we of course get the gboard as the default keyboard pop-up camera settings are there so you can calibrate the front camera if you want to if it's stuck or something the motor and we we have the pop-up camera sound effects and we do get the star wars kind of sound effects too over here we have the front camera raised dialogue then the camera led effects and in the settings panel this is how it looks like and over here on the top we get this profile then the search in the settings and on the top section if you're noticing this actually looks different and if you click on this corvus logo we get this corvus version as vs 2.1 revolt the maintenance name is not showing up for some reason you can open Riven disk and from here you can check for updates and once you click here as you can see it's checking for updates so right now there is no new update that's why there is it's not showing up but yes once there is a new update i think it will show up right here also in the settings the customizations is just a swipe away and once you swipe to the right as you can see it goes to this core for settings tab and there you will find all the customizations i will show you the customizations later on but first let me go back to the home screen this is how the home screen actually looks like and if i am going into the settings this is how the settings panel looks like by the way if you are wondering what launcher is this this is the raven launcher present by default and it has huge amount of customizations of course you can see all the customizations which are there now one thing that i have been noticing is weird i did restore a backup over here maybe because of that but i don't know here if in the app drawer it cuts out on the top over here if you're noticing the top part is like like cut it out or something so yeah this is looking a little weird to me but i have tried rebooting the device and stuff but it didn't fix that and it still has this cut on the top so it's not a huge issue but yes it might annoy you that's why i'm showing this to you you can also search for any particular apps that you want to search but then again we do have this cut over there too once you are searching now in the stock launcher we do have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but let me just enable the always on display first and let me show you if i double tap over here as you can see it locks the device if i tap the finger scanner it unlocks of course and just notice the unlocking speed it's fairly fast and snappy there is no problems with locking or unlocking as you can see it unlocks very fast over here even while I'm just tapping on the fingerprint scanner just like this as you can see 
it's locking and unlocking perfectly fine. And double tap to wake 2 is working perfectly fine here, no issues whatsoever. Also the widgets are working totally fine and the animations if you are noticing, they are working great. To the left of the home screen we still get the Google's discover page and swiping down gets to the quick setting panel, swiping up gets to the app drawer and you can add and edit multiple widgets that you want to add. They should be working perfectly great over here. Now talking about unlocking and locking stuff, let me actually show you. In the settings we do get the quick unlock. So that is present but there is no face unlock or app lock over here in this ROM yet. So if you want face unlock or app lock, maybe go with some other ROM but here you will only get the fingerprint scanner option to actually unlock the screen. But let me tell you there is no face unlock or app lock option at least by default. Even in the launcher settings if you go, there is no app lock over here. Now there are some cool features in this, let me actually show you. In the recent panel, this is actually really good that we get this screenshot option right here, then clear all option on the recents, then we have close a particular app, then we have the Google Lens search, also we have the RAM usage. So you can actually see in real time how much RAM is getting used for your device and it actually shows like this bar over here in the recent panel. This is very helpful if you are a nerd of Android. Talking with the quick setting panel, you can edit and add multiple things over here just like this and from here as you can see plethora of quick toggles that you will get and you can see all the options that are there but let me show you which ones I have added. I have added the Wi-Fi toggle, the mobile data toggle. This is disabled because I don't have a SIM card in the device yet and if your SIM card supports vault -E and stuff, they should be working perfectly fine here. You shouldn't worry about those. Now we also have the flashlight, the dark theme and auto rate, night light, etc. By the way, this is how the dark theme will look and it's completely pitch black. You shouldn't worry about anything grayish or something appearing. So yeah, the whole UI stays dark whenever you are enabling the dark theme. But you can change that from the customization, which I'll show you later on. Now, always on display toggle is there, the volume panel is there, and this is how the volume panel appears. You can expand it just like this if you want to. Now, also we have the FPS info appearing right here, but it appears on the top left of the screen. It looks very annoying. I have a tempered glass over here. That's why it's getting cutting out with the black borders of the tempered glass. And we also have the airplane mode. Then we have the nearby share and the screen recording and stuff is there. We have the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time. And all the animations of Android 12 L is working fine. We have the heads up, the battery saver, the do not disturb, the data saver. And again, we have the reboot toggle too. So you can directly reboot to the recovery from right here with this toggle too. Now we also get the DC dimming and the high brightness mode. So if you want to enable the high brightness mode, you definitely can. This is the outdoor brightness and it gets like plenty bright over here. Now talking about some quick things, the safety net passes right out of the box here. So you shouldn't worry about using banking apps. They should work super fine over here, right out of the box. Also the rare info stays as L1. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues. If you're wondering about the stock camera, well, you do not get any kind of stock camera in this ROM. That's why I have installed this Gcam and the Gcam is actually working perfectly fine. And with even the 0.66 x ultra wide angle lens too, this is working great. And even the 2x telephoto lens should be working great over here. So Gcam is not a problem on this ROM. If you want to install Gcam, you can definitely do that. I'll link some below in the description. So don't worry. Now in the settings panel, let me now show you the customizations. Well, you will find them in the Corvus settings and this is how it looks like in the Corvus settings. We have the theming first, then we get the custom color option, then we have the white luminance and stuff, then the chroma factor and we also get the body fonts and there are a plethora of body fonts that you will get over here and the option simply doesn't end. Huge amount of fonts that you will get and you can customize between all of these. And we have the icon packs too and it actually shows which icon shows like what and we also have the signal icon styles and we also have the Wi-Fi icon styles. Then we also get the icon shapes that you can change too. So huge amount of customizations again that you can do. In the shaders bar, we have the shaders bar items, headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons are there. Let me go back. We have the traffic indicators. You can enable and customize that. The shaders bar double tap to sleep is working fine too. In the clock and date settings, we have the AM, PM style and even thoroughly you can customize the clock and date of course. And we have the quick settings there. We get the brightness slider. You can have it show always or show when expanded and stuff. But I have it show always. That's why as you can see the brightness slider always shows and it actually shows on the bottom. You can change the position of it. If you want to have it on the top, you can definitely do that. Auto brightness icon you can change from right here or enable from right here. In the lock screen, we have the double tap to wake on those. But let me tell you, there is no fingerprint scanner icon changing option over here. 
or even the animations they you cannot simply change that and we have the battery over here and the charging animation also appears and we have the battery style and you can change the battery style to right left or the circle big circle big dotted circle etc so the big dotted circle if you want those they are still present over here on this rom also the percentage you can have it on next to the icon if you want it and we have the toggle color full battery icon and i'm not really sure what that does because for the battery icon i haven't seen actually how it will look with the colored icons i don't think it's working but it may work for you i'm not really sure about that in the notifications we have the heads up and we have the make heads up less annoying too and the buttons and nav bar kind of features are there we have this long press power button toggle torch that is working fine and we can disable the power menu on the lock screen if you want to have some secure features you can have those and we have the misc settings that we get the unlimited google photos and the unlock higher fps for gaming so that's all the customizations which are present over here in this rom in the core of our settings now let me move on to the other things like the battery this is how the battery settings looks like it doesn't show you the battery temperature over here it just shows you the battery bar and the battery percentage in bold font we have the battery usage and even we have the battery saver you can have it automatically turned on we also have this battery manager now talking about the battery i have been using with this aku battery app i have been getting about six and a half hour subscription on time and that's pretty much awesome i would say here inside health it shows about 71 percent health left i mean with the charging that i have done over here now let me tell you the fast charging is also working and if you are using an old battery you shouldn't worry about it much because my battery is about like 700 plus charging cycles i would say and it's been almost three plus years and with that kind of battery health i would say six and a half hours of screen on time is really good it actually shows more than that in the aku battery settings now the standby time is also great over here you shouldn't worry about the standby time either in the sound settings we have the media call ring etc vibration customization and the volume customization adaptive sound is there and we have the vibrate for calls let me scroll down we have a touch sound touch vibration screenshot sound etc you can customize of course we get the me audio redact and you can choose between these many presets i have been using it with a youth edition the sound quality for the headphone jack and bluetooth as well was amazing i haven't faced any issues with the sound quality via the mics or the speakers or even headsets like the bluetooth headsets and the wired headsets everything is working perfectly fine here we also get the hi-fi audio option and we also get these kind of presets let me go back we have this clear speaker option if your speakers had some dust you can definitely clear it out with that now in the notification panel as you can see there is this colored status bar icons but this actually appears like this and i can't really change that even in the notification settings i have tried everything i cannot really change this like colored notifications over here it just stays like that normally and that's how it is i would say you can't really disable that colored status bar icons on the notification panels at least until the next update and we have the display settings right here we have the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness the extra dim feature is also there and you can customize that we have the lock screen settings right here and double line clock you can disable that and the always on display you can customize from there screen timeout is there up to 30 minutes and we have the prevent accidental wake up and we have the dark theme then the override four star and the font size display size and the smallest dpi you can customize the night light you can enable and the colors are there you can set the rgb of the screen and we have the double tap to wake there's double tap to sleep and there is also the wake up on plug and there is the custom display settings so you can enable the disturbing and the high brightness mode from right here in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like by the way this is the default wallpaper of the corvus os it looks beautiful and we have the dark theme enabling option over here and inside app grid you get up to six by eight grid and that's just too much i would say so a huge amount of app grid options are there i have been using it with a five by five of course but yes you can go up to six by eight now talking about the performance and stuff the performance has been great on this rom and you can also go with the split top kind of feature and they should be working great let me actually go split top just like this and here as you can see both of these apps are working perfectly fine in the split top mode and you can guess the performance should be good enough over here and once you go home the apps stay together in the recent panel that is working perfectly fine here too and if you're worrying about the benchmarks here are the n22 and geekbench score with a cpu stress test on this particular build so you can surely ask me what do i think about this latest core versus vs 2.1 for the redmi k20 pro i definitely feel this is one of the greatest option out there for the redmi k20 pro if you're looking for a android 12 l custom rom but simply you don't get some features like the face unlock the app lock they are still not present over here they might be added in the future but as of right now you don't get those so you can look for other roms like evolution x maybe but yeah that's just my personal preference 
But here I definitely liked the Corvus Quest and overall the fluidity of this ROM is just amazing. Everything just stays buttery smooth over here. Overall experience of using this ROM was amazing. Everything is just smooth. The whole UI feels a lot more smoother. I would say when compared to other ROMs, sometimes it gets laggy when you are using some other ROMs and doing some heavy multitasking. But here I would say the lagging was lot less and everywhere in the UI I just noticed fluidity of the ROM. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from Gary and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now. Thank you.